the Oregon Ducks, Mario Cristobal is joining us. Now, Mario, thank you so much for being with us right now. You're getting a reception here from the Ohio State fans. You had the best win of the season, winning on the road here in Columbus. How did that help you prepare as you get ready to go into a very tough conference environment tonight in Utah? I think anytime you go on the road with a team as young as our team is, mind you, we only have seven seniors, and be able to pull out a great win against a great team like that, it helps you. It builds a lot of confidence and a lot of momentum. And we've been building off that as the year's gone on. Mario, this is going to be a, a tough physical game. What is the biggest challenge that the Utah defense brings to your running game? Well, I think you just said it right there. They're physical. They're big. They're really stout up front. They're very explosive on the edges. They run, their linebackers run you down sideline to sideline. And they can cover you up. You know, they know what they're doing. They've had a lot of continuity on staff, so they've been doing it for a long, long time. They're an excellent football team and a great defense. Mara, there's so much about November is about peaking and just continuing to get better and better. Your, your team is a great example of that. You've been through injuries, been through some adversity, even with, you know, offensive coordinator, miss a game against Stanford. Talk about where your team is now as you get ready for this stretch run these next three weeks. We've been getting better and better every week. I think we've been in every possible scenario you can imagine. We've been behind. We've been ahead. We've had guys go down. We've been at times down six, seven, eight starters, and guys have continued to step up and have gotten really good at playing um, in our particular scheme. So our coordinators feel more confident in calling what they need to call with the guys that are in there. And just overall, the leadership on our team has gotten better and stronger. They're extremely resilient, the most resilient team I've been around. As a player, as an assistant, as a, as a head coach, what is your belief in Anthony Brown and a quarterback going on the road in this environment? The must, as you know, is a great environment. What are the keys to a quarterback playing well, and what are you asking of him this week? Well, probably the most important thing is being sure that the supporting cast is doing their job because you want to make sure that your quarterback, that he's at ease. And Anthony's a very poised guy. Nothing's going to affect him. But knowing that you're at a place that's it's a great college football environment, it's going to be loud. All the pieces around them have to be doing their job at the highest level. And you also have to cut it loose with him, right? You have confidence in the guy. He's shown that he's a really, he's an excellent football player. He can make plays. Um, you got to just cut it loose and let him play his game. Opportunity to clinch the Pac-12 North tonight. Utah has the same opportunity in the South, and you two will likely see each other again in a couple of weeks. Mario, thanks for spending some time with us this morning. Okay, appreciate you guys. Thanks for having me. Go Ducks. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.